hope I'm not too dark. Oh, hey, if you're catching the replay, don't forget to follow, not just like, I, I've got something right in the middle of my shirt. <laughs> Um, don't forget to follow and not just like that way when we have new videos or if we go live, it'll send you a notification. If you want it to notify you when you're not in the Facebook app, you have to go in your settings in your phone and, um, allow Facebook to send you notifications. It'll kind of beep on your phone like a text does if you're not in the app itself. All right, well, let's give everybody a minute to jump on. Make sure when you jump on, you say where you're from. Hey, Lucy. Hello, Patty. Hey, Sherry from Ohio. Uh, Belinda from Houston, Texas. Hey, Cynthia from Pennsylvania. I can remember, I think, because my name is Cynthia. Hey, Julie Gandy. Ohio, Sharon. Helen from Georgia. Judy from South Carolina. Diana. Yes, Chris said hello, Julie. Saw pictures of your chick. She's adorable. Yes, I sealed it today. And while I was sitting here, y'all, I've been so impatient. I don't know what's been up the last couple of days. I've had my stuff ready to go at like 6 o'clock. And I think when I first started doing my videos, I was going to come on at 6.30, but it worked out better to do 7.30, give everybody a chance, time to eat. So that's why I don't go ahead and come on here at 6.30. All right, let me get this a little bit closer to me. Chris, he's setting up his computer for me. All right. Y'all, I'm checking out this thing in my shirt, and I don't think I've dropped any on the phone. I think it's a stain. Maybe I can try to put some dawn on it. I mean, it's like right in the center. All right. Let me turn my off on here from Georgia, Knoxville, Mississippi, South Carolina. Hey, Amanda. Little Falls, Minnesota. That's a cute name. North Dakota. Harrisonville, Missouri. I think we're just about hitting. <laughs> Y'all, this is going to drive me nuts. I think the whole time I'm staring, that's all I see. All right. Tonight, we're going to use um, the same boards that we used last night for the chick because I want to make... Too. And I put on my little descriptions, can we make a sconce type carrot? And I guess I'm thinking like when you put two sconces on the side of um, anything, your fireplace, a portrait over your fireplace, something like that. That's kind of the idea of the decoration, but it's not really a sconce. I just don't really know like really what to call it. But I wanted to show you these I grabbed in our craft store. We've just gotten them. They're called craft clamps. And I'm sure it would help when you're making uh, bows and mesh things like that. You know, it would pinch them together and it's got a, a good little resistance to it. So it, it, I guess it means like if you're making a bow, you can pinch it together and put another uh, grouping together and then put it all like that. But you get six clamps for a dollar. Um, so uh, if you see these, grab a pack. I actually grabbed a couple of them. They had, they had a lot, though, for people in Waynesboro. North Dakota, Missouri. Hey, everyone. Hey, Ann. Um, getting laptop on in the kitchen where where if my husband wants, he always wants at the time you're on. <laughs> Drives you nuts, huh? Okay. Well, just like before, these are not straight. But we're going to mainly use the back of them. But I have three of them out. And the reason why, they're going to be my... Um, my my background sconce, if you you know, for a better you know, lack of a better word to describe it. Um, these are going to be the same length. Well, I need the third one because we're actually going to make our carrot. We're going to cut it out of here, and then on the other one, we're actually going to do a carrot that almost looks just like it, except it's going to be stuffed and made of cloth. So they're going to be the same, but yet they're going to be different. So, I'm going to go have three. Now, this is going to be an inside project. So, you could use your, like, five-gallon um, paint sticks to make a form like this. You can use poster board, foam poster board. You can use a box you get from Amazon, especially if you get big boxes. You know, cut some pretty good pieces like this up and store them in your craft supplies. 
I love them. They are so useful. Cynthia, I have never used them. I, we've just gotten them at our Dollar Tree, so I'm kind of excited. Tonight, we're going to use, this might be a little bit, ugh, and this might not, I think I filled this thing up too much. We're gonna use the paint that we made last night, but it's a little too on the bright orange side for me. So I've gotten just my pumpkin out orange paint that I have, and sometimes I like to add a little yellow to tone it down a little bit. And we always have our plaster color, which is kind of our little off-white color. Um, and then we have a little bit of green in case we use it, but I'm really hoping I've got all green bows out and moss green, different color greens, because I really would like to make the top of each carrot the same bow, and that way, even though they'll be a little bit different, they'll be the same. But the one we're gonna start with first is we're gonna cut this up. Let me move this paint out of the way because these things are kind of large. Um, um, we're gonna paint our backgrounds and the reason why I want to paint them at the same time is because you want them to, I want them to be alike. The only thing that's going to be different is the carrot on top of them. So sometimes I get a little happy with my paintbrushes and I like to do different streaks and, you know, a, a technique will catch me with a certain color. And so I don't want that to happen with one and not do the other one just like it. So first of all, and if these uh, holes ever bother you, I'll tell you, let's take these little feet off like we did last night. They popped off, yeah, fairly easy last night. Not gonna worry so much about the bows and stuff, you know, or especially the eyes, because that's gonna be on the back. But the feet show from the front, so definitely pop your little feet off and we'll find some kind of craft, because now I'm gonna have like eight of these. Um, but, the holes that come in these. If you want to grab you, like next time you're in your craft supply place, Walmart, hardware, any kind of hardware store is gonna have wood feel. Um, and you'll see it, like you go over by the plaster area or sheetrock, whatever you wanna call it, mud, it'll come with like a little wood feel and it's like in a little screw off, kinda looks like chapstick. Um, and you can uh, take it out and just use your hand and it'll fill it up, it gets hard, you can paint it. A lot of times, most of it will stain. Um, but I'm just gonna fill mine up with a little bit of hot, uh, hot glue. And then uh, once I'm painting them, you know, hot glue, especially with chalk paint, paints really well. Sometimes the glue will kind of go through and collapse, but as soon as it dries, just put a little bit more on. All right, so I'm gonna paint this as if we're gonna keep it together. And I'm gonna paint it my plaster, which is, you know, always my favorite one. And this time I am gonna get my antiquing out. It's kind of gonna be like we did last night, but yet we uh, distressed it with the foam color, where tonight we are gonna distress it with the antiquing. And not really so much, just distress and define the edges. Cause I really wanted to have a, a white background. My walls in here, if I decide to put in here, are this dark gray. And then my bedroom is a really pretty uh, tan. So I, you know, I need it to be white in order to show up. But you know, I always kind of think about where you're gonna put your um, finished craft because you don't want to put something you painted white on a white wall and it's just gonna, um, you know, blend in unless you want it to. Or if it's white, you wanna maybe distress the ends a little bit heavier. That way, you know, your project will still like hold its shape. I went to the Dollar Street today and they don't have any, huh? New paint. No, uh, th yeah, this is the same one I got as some plaster. <laughs> I got about 100 bottles, so I don't know if it's so much new. Hey, from Cobbtown, I am so excited to see this. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, because I really wanna do like a, a bigger carrot. I saw this pretty mantle uh, decorations, and this person did the huge carrots, like on the end, and. They were, I just don't think I'm brave enough to do that, but I mean, it looks so good. Instead of like a garland, it was just like a cluster on each end, but they were so big, they almost went to the floor. 
So I'm gonna try my hand at, you know, some bigger ones on a craft like this and see if I can handle it. And they made them out of material, so they're all different colors. So it was really cute. Hey, Sin Girl from North Dakota. Sorry I'm late, but I'm here. I just got on. I was actually a few minutes early. It's not even seven o'clock yet. But making two things, I told Chris, I said, I'm gonna try to keep it under an hour tonight and not keep them so long. I think last night was like two hours too. And I think everybody has all the time in the world to craft like me and some people have to go to work. And this cardboard is really soaking this paint up, so it's gonna dry pretty fast. But there's nothing on the back of this. There's no tag to worry about. And it's cardboard, so um, we'll probably get away with just uh, adding one coat. But y'all, maybe that stuff worked on my chair. Do y'all hear it squeaking? Because I don't hear it squeaking. The very first night I put the oil on it, you could still hear it. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I, Debbie, I'm so glad that you've joined us. We really have a good time. Uh, Chris was asleep when I finished last night. He dozed off. So I didn't get to show him my chicken. So when he came in a while ago, I had it by the door where I took the pictures. And he said, when did you make this? I said, last night you didn't get to see it. Um, no, Helen, I don't work on Mondays. Um, and I said, we made it last night. And I always say that we made it because we all did. You know, you always give me ideas. And he just started laughing and he said, we. And then he looked at me and he goes, we, I hear you. You do take, you know, their suggestions and, and change stuff up if they tell you they like something better or whatever. And I'm like, yes. I mean, when I say we, we all craft together. I love it. I love that y'all help me out and. Um, tell me when something doesn't look right. Tell me what side to put the bow on. I need that. I love that part. I mean, it's like being in a club, like a crafting club, and I love it. All right, New York, Michigan. Did you go back to work? No. Oh, okay. Did you go back to work today? I'm sorry, Helen. I didn't understand. I will go back tomorrow, but I'll actually be in there because, um, Larry, the priest, my boss, he is going to see his grandbaby and son in Michigan. Pam, am I right if you're on here in Michigan? I think that's where they live. So um, even though I'm going back tomorrow, I'll be all by my lonesome. And I'm probably scared. You know, I think everybody gets really scared of it, so nobody's probably going to come see me for a while anyway. Uh, Kentucky, I love the little chick, Judy. Me too. He turned out really, really cute. Hey, Mama. Hey, Lynn from Pensacola. I haven't seen your name in a couple of days. Where did you go? You know, nobody's supposed to have a life outside of our crafting world. <laughs> okay. So, we've done white. So, since we want to antique it a little bit, you know, kind of like distressed wood, I'm going to dry it first. Because if you don't, when it's still wet like this, it'll blend it. Now, that's different than how we did the chick last night. We wanted it to blend. And sometimes with acrylic paint, you have to keep putting water on it to keep it wet. But, you know, when you do kind of these crafts, you don't want it to stay wet. Let's see. some reason my little cord doesn't want to stay up high tonight so in a minute if my camera starts falling for some reason the cord doesn't want to cord doesn't want to stay up at all looking forward to this carrot love the chick yes and didn't you love the fact that we made the chick we didn't buy the chick you know we, we got it a couple I was telling Chris to see we got this big egg and this little egg and we like cut it like that and he just looks at me like like we're MacGyvers of the crafting world. Like we can, you know, you can give us some popsicle sticks and we'll be into the house. I'm sorry I missed them. We'll have to uh, watch the replay. I missed them. Uh, Patty, what, what did you miss? You talking about the chick from last night? The baby chick? You go back and watch, cause it's pretty cool. 
And then if you like butterflies or spiders come to fall, we were like putting those eggs together, making all kinds of shapes. Um, hello from Wisconsin, land of the of couch. <laughs> Taxes and beer parks. Laugh out loud, at least that. Um, hold on, I missed it. Hello. Oh, you took it off there. Hold on, no, no, there it is. At least that's what all the t-shirts say. That is a laugh. I thought Wisconsin was like cheese. You forgot that one in there too. Oh my gosh, Patty, you sound hilarious. Yes, the chicks. Yes, Patty, you'll have to go back and watch it. It was really cute. And I ran my mouth, so you know it took me a couple of hours to so zoom to the end, you know, when I start running my mouth. Oh my gosh, Patty, that is hilarious. You have such great ideas. Thank you so much. I wanted to try, you know. Now, if they would have had that big chick at Dollar Tree, I would have bought that big chick, but it was kind of fun. You know, making something, cutting it out, and it wasn't poster board or something, you know, because that stuff, it going around little corners, it gets a little aggravating, but you know, it's not, it wasn't the end of the world. All right, so y'all know I like to do this with my fingers, but the um, these boards are kind of big, so I'm going to wet a tissue because, you know, I'm all out of the little baby wipes that I got trying that time. When I go back to the Dollar Tree, I grab a couple more packs. And the reason why I like the little packs instead of just being smart and going and getting like a big pack is I'm bad about leaving the lid open and they all dry out. You have to like add water back to them. It's a Cynthia thing, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, hey, can you have any suggestions for a new live crafter? And I don't know. Now I talk a lot and I'm sure that probably aggravates a lot of people. Maybe when you're watching mine. Oh, somebody did Sin's Crafting Bin, Rosemary. Um, but um, but Sin's Crafters, I think, is what you meant to do. Sports and recreation. I don't. It shouldn't say sports and recreation. Is that what crafts fall under? It is my favorite. Good evening, Sin from uh, Gwanda. Am I saying that right? New York. Hey, Vicky. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of this antique on here. The only things I have on your lives is you just kind of have to, we actually have like a good little time on here. I'm not in any kind of hurry to get off of here sometimes, and that can probably aggravate some people. Um, so sometimes, you know, if that does, I say if you, it, but you still like my craft, just watch the replay and kind of zoom to the end, and if there's a part that you're, you know, as you, how did she do that? And then just kind of slow, slow it down when it gets to that part. It won't hurt my feelings. I'd rather you watch and craft than you have to watch it live. But we tend to have a good time on here, so I like it. We'll mainly do my edges. And we'll just maybe do like we did last night. We will uh, distress it to the point where where we like it now, if we get our carrot on there and we want it a little bit whiter and we don't want it so distressed, we can go back and put a little bit more of the color plaster on it. And I'm gonna put just a little bit in the center because I feel like in the center it was just doesn't need to be on the edges. Okay, so I like that pretty much. Makes it look like a piece of wood. So we'll do the same little technique on this one. Probably need some more uh, antiquing. And this is the antiquing, which is kind of like Waverly's um, stain. And it's kind of like a gel stain. So it goes on just like a paint. And it takes a little bit longer to dry than just say the regular paint, but you can. Um, and this is the only color they have. Hopefully, the more chalk paint and all this becomes popular, maybe they'll get some more colors. But I know if you either use the Wise Owl or the Dixie Belle, they have several um, stain colors. Thank you. How long have you been doing lives? And I've only done these lives since, I think, July. And if you go back and watch some of my Julys, I didn't do it very often. 
I think I was really nervous and thought I had to have every night these just awesome crafts. And so I would only do it like once a week. But now I come on, I try to do five days a week. Every now and again, I'm, you know, I have to do other things, which is not any, it's not as fun as crafting. All right, so let me put a little bit in the center there. And so you see they are the same, but yet different. Um, just because I'm wanting these to, you know, kind of go on the side, two sides, I'm gonna try it in my bedroom. You know, Himes are really scared of color, but I'm feeling like, you know, if I'm gonna put all these little doodads up on my fireplace for Easter, I might as well go all out. <laughs> Love the lives. We have a lot of fun together, Vicki. We really do. Thank you, Karen. You are so sweet. San Antonio, Texas. Are y'all having better weather out there? It got up to 82 today, but y'all, it's going to be the high tomorrow. It's 54. Now, my sinuses are not going to like that. In about three or four days, I'll probably be all stuffed up again. But I will like the fact that it's, 80, it's 54 tomorrow. Nobody else will. Everybody will hate it. Do you know if there's a crafter that crafts small items? <clears throat> Hold on, let me see. Let me get back to your question. Do you know if there's a crafter that crafts small items that are for use, not only decor? I just crafted a ribbon holder, which I made from Dollar Tree items and rings from a wood dryer, clothes dryer stand. I love the decor, but also would like to craft, hold on, it's making me click on it to see more, um, things I can use. You know, I don't, I've never tried that, but I think everybody does, Darlene. You're probably just going to have to look around, um, follow different people, and then when it just alerts you every night, just kind of zoom to the end and see what they're making. And sometimes they'll um, probably have something you need. Now, you could maybe Google, is there a crafter that just does, like, supplies? Because there is a lady that shows you how to make wreaths if you want to sell wreaths. She tells you like the cheapest ribbon that's the prettiest that if you're going to mass produce things. So I'm sure there is a crafter out there that just does organization things. Because I, I, I know what you're saying, you know, things that help you organize your crafts. Um, yes, you said Gwanda Wright. That is pretty cool. I like clean and cook. I have been... Slacking in that area, mm, me too. I don't, I don't, I don't do that too well. I did it so long. I stayed home with my girls when they were little. So if I never clean up again the rest of my life, then it will be too soon. I mean, bless you people that say, "Oh, when I'm stressed or I'm, you know, Saturday, I just love to clean up." Bless you, because mm -mm, I am not a cleaner, cleaner at all. Okay, so we're gonna set these to the side because. We're going to use our third board to make the, the, the wooden looking carrot on one of them because the other one's going to be a stuffed carrot that's cloth. All right, so let me just get this part off on the back. And just like the other, we're going to use the back side of it. But this one, we're actually going to draw our carrot and cut it. And I'm going to draw it on this side, y'all, because covering up pen, and it may be hard because... I don't want to have to do a thousand coats on Sharpies and all that tonight. I may, just for my sanity, take the eyes off of this one. Because it's already going to be hard enough to do a good triangle with all these shapes going on on it. But, let's see. Let's find the middle of the board. Because right here... And we're going to make this a tad shorter than our board. And probably about this short. Because remember at the top, I'm, I've got a lot of greens, even from moss green to a bright green, that we're going to make the top. Kansas City, that's not me, Diana. I had the burlap carrot. It came out wonderful. Oh, you made the carrot. Oh, that's so good. That board is what I used for the sides of my ribbon organizer, Darlene. I love organizing things. I don't know why I don't do that, but I should. I woke up this morning at 4.30 and my 87-year-old mama was mopping the kitchen floor. Bless her heart. You, ready? you need me, her to come stay with me? Patty, cause 
that's what I told my mom, who's on here one day. You know, she come live with me one day. I'm guesstimating on how big I want my carrot versus I, my bow can actually be a little bit bigger. So let's do it where maybe, because I want my carrot to be really big to about right there. Um, she can come live with me one day when she doesn't need to live by herself, but because I know my mama, she'll be cleaning up and cook. I cook some poppy seed. She loves to make poppy seed chicken. I'll make you some poppy seed chicken before you get home, which is unbelievably delicious. I don't, just don't know about people who like to clean up. I mean, bless them. Thank goodness there are people like that, but... I'm not one of them. <laughs> I wish I'd love to clean because I like it when it's clean. I could live in a hotel because I'm one of them crazy people who love fresh sheets. I want to change my sheets every night. Like if I'm not feeling well or something or I just can't go to sleep, I have gotten Chris up at like 1.30 in the morning and said, can we just, can we just put some new sheets on the bed? All right, so I just stayed my triangle. You can see it kind of the board. I found the center of the board and found about how high I wanted it to go up. So it's gonna stop here. So I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife or box cutter right now and cut this on out. That board is when I woke up. Is that about three inches? Um, from the top, no, it's further than three inches from the top. It's probably it's almost six inches, about a quarter of an inch shy of six inches from the top. Don't forget the lateral root scars. Yeah, we can do the little side down it, but this time, no. I'm going to do my carrot pretty straight like it's a piece of wood just because on the um, cloth one, I'm going to do that. But I love that. The lateral root scars is what they're called. Yes. Janet, I will never forget that either. I will clean, but I don't like cooking. I like to cook, but I don't like to clean up afterwards. And my motto in this house now is you cook, I mean, whatever you dirty up, clean up. Oh, I can't see the top, thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did it about, it's, it looks like it was about a quarter of an inch shy of six inches. Um, I'll try to maybe use, you don't have to do this, but I only wanna make like one little swoop So sometimes it helps me to have like a little guide. But if your carrot is not, you know, right on these lines, I don't want to make another cut. I'm just going to go with what it is. Because like I said, the line is on this side. So, you know, I'm not going to have to worry about hiding lines and all that. Because sometimes a Sharpie just is kind of, rough and I'm I don't want the other side to tear so let me make a few score scores we learned this last night when there's paper on one side it it tends to tear if you um just flip it back and let it pop I don't want this paper back here to tear and that's basically what it is it's just a lot of paper different uh, you know a lot of layers of paper just smashed together to make that cardboard and thank goodness tonight this is the only cut we'll make. There we go. So now we got that, you know, good edge. So we're going to do the same thing the other side. Now look at that. Might make a good little carrot. We'll keep that. <laughs> I promised Chris I would quit saving this stuff. He says, you have more scrap than you have, like, <laughs> good stuff. And I'm like, leave me alone. That scrap, you know, all, my all go-to is always, that scrap is saving you money. <laughs> See all this money I saved you? Oop, oh, that went in. Hold on. That slid on me. Give me just a second. I know I could probably put my little clamp on it, my new little clamps, but I think I'm pushing on it so hard. Okay. 
right, I've got a good little. But listen, I'm making kind of an oversized carrot here. You don't have to do yours as big as mine. Let's see. Oh, I can't see the top. Hey, Sian, I don't like cooking or cleaning. You can use it all at some point or another. I love cooking, cleaning, not so much. No. Clean them. Ugh. I love it clean. I, I prefer it clean. But do I want to be the one that does it? No. I do like doing laundry. But I'm weird about laundry. I only like to fold up the clothes when they're still hot. Because, you know, you don't, you don't have to iron them if you, like, get them. Right? Even, like, a T-shirt. If you fold it up right when it's hot and fold it up neat, you don't have to. There we go. Ooh, like chipping wood all. All right, one more. Look at that other carrot. <laughs> they can be carrots together. See, look at that. I'll be saving Chris money. Look at that good carrot. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Men just don't understand. Hey, Debbie. Oh, okay, y'all saying hey to each other. I like everything clean, but I want someone else to do it. Me too. <laughs> That's Buffy's new thing. Since she came home from, decided she wanted to go to school online, like when she first had to last year. That's her thing is she does all the dishes. But probably 90% of it is her stuff. So how do you explain that to a 20 year old? She's like, I've done the dishes every day for like a month. I'm like, you're 22. I did the dishes long. Who do you think did the first 22 years of your life? Yes, dishes are my worst. And we all hate doing dishes, so it's not like you can say, we just won't do it, and eventually somebody will get up there and do them. It kind of don't work like that here. Okay, here's our carrot. Now, I'm going to take my little, even though it's not wood, just those extra little pieces of paper, make that a pretty smooth edge. Now, it's, it's working good. But it's probably because I was the baby of five girls. So my all my older sisters clean. And I did. <laughs> I like everything gleam. I hate, oh, y'all are saying hate hey each other. That's so sweet. I love it when y'all know each other on here. And are y'all living in the same area? Okay. All right, now. Got this all dirty again. I was keeping it kind of sort of neat up here, but y'all, for the first time since probably this time last year, I bought this uh, big roll of like shipping paper, and I get probably at least two of this size every week. Most of the time, like I can flip them over if I'm not cutting it up like this and use them for two or three days. But I'm finally getting kind of to the end of my roll. So if anybody ever, you know, something that's good and you don't have to get multiple, um, I mean, just go back to the store for a lot of them, get a big roll of this paper. But don't go, go into your shipping section because the rolls, are they're just massive. And I think they only cost like 5 or $10. But like I said, then you only have to do it once a year. Okay. So we're gonna put our carrot on here, like so. But we're not gonna put it flush, here they are. I'm gonna put it, um, use these little blocks. You can use your Jenga blocks too, um, because we're gonna have it where it kinda looks a little multi-dimensional on it, but the main reason why I don't wanna do that is because the other carrot we're gonna do is gonna be stuffed, so it's gonna have some dimension to it. I like everything clean. Hey, Debbie. Hey, everybody. You need a sewing mat. I, ha I had a huge one, and that's the first on my heat gun. I melted it. It Like, one day, it, it wasn't sitting, and I kept thinking, why is this thing doing this? And it was because I was melting it. It was my fault. Nobody else's fault but my own. Okay. I'm going to put these kind of, you know, on each corner, a couple down and down here, but I'm going to put them towards the center just so you don't see them. 
um, you know, unless you like totally look from the side, which hopefully I don't have any people that'll do that. Two. Sometimes I guess if you wanted to put these close to the edge, just, you know, when you start painting it, paint them the same color. Now what makes this one look smaller than those? And he's really light, so I don't know why I thought I needed three up there. I probably didn't even need that. We'll put one as close as I can down here. Without you maybe being able to see him. I may paint this little one at the bottom. All right. Now on here, we could paint it before, but I'm not so much worried about that because I'm going to just paint it orange. Okay. So that's about where we're gonna go with it. So my gun is hot temp, so I have a little bit longer to decide before it dries really quick than most people do. So just kind of know your hot glue gun. If it's pretty high temp, you got a little bit longer. But if it's not, if it's a smaller one, like I've had the dollar, I have the dollar store ones or the ones at Walmart that only cost you like two or $3, you gotta be pretty fast with those. Are those blocks from the Dollar Tree? Yes, Trish. Uh, you get a pack of maybe 36, I can't remember. And this is the one thing, like Jenga blocks, they always have at mine. But this, sometimes they don't. So the last time I was in there, I got a couple packs of them when they put a ton out there. Because sometimes, you know, uh, Jenga blocks with something this size, but sometimes you just have like something small. And it works out really small. So see, you know, you can see it in there, but you'd have to look really far on the side. So you'd have to look almost directly to the side before you see them. So kind of put them towards the center. All right, so let's get out our paint that we made that is like super califragilistic, expialidocious orange. <laughs> Hello from Connecticut. What are we making tonight? We're making... I, what I'm calling like carrot little type sconces, but what I'm what I mean kind of by sconces is just the where you would actually put them is kind of where you put sconces, maybe on the side of a portrait of your fireplace, maybe on the side of your bed, you know, on like where your couch sits, just to kind of frame out something. All right, see this is a little bit more. You know, it's got a little bit more yellow in it, and we're gonna open a little bit of this, and I'm I'm gonna blend with these. Um, so I'm gonna have them all open, so I'm not gonna dry it in between, and then I'm gonna have my plaster just in case it gets a little too on the bright side. But all this right here we made last night. We made our own chalk paint um, from leftover of acrylic paint that we're no longer using on oh, those of Dollar Tree. How did you cut that out? Just came on. Patricia, we just cut it out of the original sheet that's like this. You can get them now. They did have them um, in the fall like this and we cut it. I think that's the bottom. We cut it out of here. We made a V. Um, when we're done, you can go back and watch the replay, and I went through how I cut it. All right, let's see. Let's get this bright color on here, which, you know what I just, I told y'all about, you wouldn't have to do so many layers if you just go ahead and paint it white. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and paint it white, and then... That way it'll cover up and we don't have to do like a whole bunch of layers. We'll just be able to do one layer of our um, orange. Because with that uh, apple barrel acrylic paint, that's kind of watery. And it'll work. You just have to do several coats. There we go. So let's get this dry a little bit and then this is all we have to paint. 
but we're actually gonna put polka dots on it, but we're gonna do some dimensional, like little half wooden beads, polka dots. Talked to my daughter in Arizona today and told her about you and how I have learned so much about crafting for you. Thank you, Peggy, that's so sweet. Is the chalk paint you made a thinner version uh, or the same? It's very thin. And it's probably because the original uh, recipe tells you how to make it with latex paint, which is really thick. And it had you put water in it. Well, when you're mixing, especially that cheaper apple barrel paint, it has a lot of water in it already. So, you know, when we add the, the, the water to the plaster to melt it, you know, it, it has already a lot of water in it. So it's a lot thinner, yes. But I think if you make it, what did I look up? If you did it with acrylic paint, it tells you to do it long. This was like to make like a cup. If you do like one tablespoon water to one tablespoon the plaster of Paris to two tablespoons of paint, it'll be a little bit thicker. But it's because we made such a, a big amount at one time too. All right, let me get a little bit of this white off my, um... Hey, Mary. All right, so let's see. See how this is like some a bright, but I knew it was like a lot of bright orange paint. It was paint that I didn't think I would ever use. But putting it all together, that's why I grabbed that tomato orange, which was a a little bit deeper. It was more red than orange. But, I mean, this will be good for shading. You know, pumpkin time will be soon. But you see how it's a lot thinner? But it's still. So you, you would definitely have to do two coats of this. but we're not because we're gonna like actually put some of this thicker on here to shade. And I'm getting low on this. And this pumpkin is actually what their orange is called and Waverly is pumpkin. It's just got a little bit more yellow in it or on the yellow side. All right, let's add a little bit of this kernel mustard in here to make it even a little more yellowy. Now, what, what they always tell you in painting is do your brush strokes in the direction something, the shape of something. If you're doing like an apple, or a heart, you know, paint it in the shape. It'll shade it for the light. Well, actually the way a carrot grows is, you know, it has those little uh, scars. We talked about the, what are they called? Um, hold on, a scar roots. Oh gosh, and I'll, and I'll show you what I mean. You know, like paint it in the circles that those Score. And I just said, I'll never forget it. Um, hold on. Scarred roots. Lateral uh, root scars. All right. So, okay. So, see how I'm doing my brush strokes this way? If you want to take a darker or either the brighter or light, we can take a little bit of this. You'll see it. To shade, just go along. And that's kind of like starting our shade. And we don't want our shade to be quite so yellow. So I'm gonna go back with some of this pumpkin. Now put this on a palette, don't dip it in here, you know, and mess your paint up like, but I always do that, okay. So we're gonna add a little bit of orange back to it. People sent me a couple messes about my shading on our other projects. That's just the best tip I can give you is what they always say is go in the, the order 
I mean, go in the, sh the motion of how something grows. So if it has those ridges like that, then you see how you can slightly see it? You can go back and take, where is that antiquing? If you really wanted to see it, but I don't know if I want this much detail in mine because I'm gonna make polka dots on it. But you could go in here and grab this little brown here and add this brown just like you would to say, because that's where the dirt is going to accumulate on your carrot. You know, they're gonna get into those little lateral scars. See how I'm just, I, you can just keep blending it in. There you go. So see, it gives you, and mine is kind of looking a little bit too perfect on there. You probably would maybe go back and do some the other way. Bring that down. There, that way it doesn't look so perfect. But I'm gonna go back and take some of this color out of here, the brown, because I'm gonna put polka dots on here, so I really don't want mine so true to color. So, it's still, I still painted it the same direction, but I kind of took those out. And the reason why is if I was just painting the carrot, then I think I would like that. I would chip some of the edges like we did the other day on our carrot wreath. And then I would put the brown paint in those little scars. But we're kind of making this, I guess, maybe a little bit on the whimsical side because um, I am going to, y'all, and this is not was not the best thing to put that in. Or really, it was a good thing to put it in, but I um, filled it up too high. But so, so far, here's our carrot. But now what we're going to do... As I told y'all, I'm all about trying to make it a little bit dimensional because the other one will be stuffed. We're gonna make polka dots, but these polka dots are gonna be these half, um, half wooden circles, and I'm just gonna paint them with my plaster. Um, since it's fairly big, I kinda wanna use these bigger ones. But let me see, because I really want you to see the polka dots and I don't wanna do a lot of them. Um, I bought this assorted bag um, off of Amazon. There were 100 pieces in it when I started, and there were four different sizes. Um, I've gotten it so long ago, it's back in the fall. I can't remember how much it cost, but there were so many options on there when you go on Amazon. You can buy these in your um, uh, craft stores. But um, I think when I bought them, I really wasn't going to that many craft stores because it was a while ago. Um, so I just got them off Amazon. But you can buy them by the 50. You can buy them just one size. I just got an assorted pack because at the time, you know, they were just kind of becoming a little popular and I didn't really know what size I'd like to work with. Yeah. When you're shading, like a lot of times, that, listen, YouTube can be your best friend when you want to kind of learn like little tricks and stuff with painting. You know, there are hundreds of, you know, painting, how to shade when you're painting. And you don't have to be an artist to do it. It'll just, you know, kind of show you little tricks to shading things like that, to go in the circle, you know, the shape of it. It's just all kind of little tips. So just like go to your YouTube and... um uh, just search in there painting tips or shading, painting shading tips, you know, however you want it. So like I said, you'll um, get a lot. And just like with on Facebook, just like with me, there's a place that you can actually follow someone. Um, and there are things you can do that you have to uh, pay to follow someone. But there's lots of them that you can follow, and every time they have a new video, if they think it's helpful. But look at the date, because somebody could have just went on there and did one video three years ago, just to you know to have a little helpful tip, and they've never put anything on there. So then it would be kind of pointless to follow. Now these, I mean, if there's an easier way to paint these, I don't know what it is. 
I mean, I could put them in a little bag and do all that, but you know, I don't keep those supplies up here. So I don't do that. But we're gonna put random. I don't think with these bigger ones, I'm gonna need a lot, but I am gonna shade them. It probably would be easier to paint them after I glued them as far as like they won't move. I won't have to put my fingers on them. But um, then I would run the risk of getting on my um, brush, which I can tell you, the more I think about it, just uh, putting on there and painting them orange would give your carrot a little bit of dimension. You don't have to do the white. Let's see, shade with brown when dried, yes. I mean, you can shade anything, but you're gonna see more detail if you dry each layer, yes. I just tend to blend. And the only reason why I like to blend is because if I don't like something, I can keep adding another shade and either go back to what I just had or, you know, keep shading if I don't like the particular color. I'm probably gonna have to put a couple layers on here. Because holding it in my hand, I can't, I'm not able to get a lot, a lot of paint on it. And I don't want to make paint clumps on it either. Put them on painter's tape. Oh my gosh. Do I have any painter's tape over here? If I do, girl, we are fixing a hook this up with a second layer. And I think I had some out here the other day, but I don't know if I had any left on the roll. We were doing our, um, uh, uh, the Buffalo check on our little bunny hat. And I had some out. I don't know how many I'll need and I can always repaint this if I need it for something else. So I'm probably gonna paint a few too many. But oh my gosh, the painter's tape is awesome. I think the only time I've ever painted these is when I already had it on something. Making that little, you know, and border thing, uh, I mean, on the little beads on the border. You know, like, yeah, the border, whatever it's called. Um, and But I really like to use the little stickers that we used the other day because it's so much cheaper. Get a strip of tape and put the beads on them. It will hold them still. Let's see. Look at y'all. See, when I say we paint, I mean it. We paint. I, I mean, craft. I don't craft. We craft. I got this, but it's not very wide, but I guess it'll work. You can see. I don't think I've used this in so long. Of course, that's having time to dry. See, I love crafting. Who wants to craft alone? Spray paint or brush, yes. That would be awesome. All right. I can't tell if that's just junk on here or if it's the end. I don't think that's the end. Here it is. It's probably so old it's gone. You know, when you start pulling tape and it doesn't come off, I, I rarely use tape. There is no telling how old this is. And this is just plain masking tape too. It's not even painter's tape. Y'all look, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. And the blue tape, maybe I used all of it. Let me look one more time in my little basket here. Do we use all that blue tape? I don't see it in here. Oh well, next time I'll know to get this tape going because we need it. And I think that was it, y'all, but it was just crappy. Maybe if I pull like two or three layers off, we'll get enough to put some of them on it. Yup. We can make it work. Y'all are geniuses.
whoops, stick. Okay, why is it not sticking? If it's sticky down here. Oh, it's only sticking on one side. So let me get my brush back out. <laughs> hey y'all, spread the love. Thank you, Kathy, that's so sweet. Hello, then spray paint or brush. All right, look at y'all. Look at that, y'all. Who wants to craft a loon? Not I, said this fly. All right, that went in. Stick. And I really want them to be good and white so I can, uh, they'll really pop against this orange, which that's some super orange right there. So I think a lot of it will pop. messy but it's done we learn so much from each other i know i'm telling y'all help me just as much as i help y'all uh hey chrissy how are you i've not seen your name in a while uh bowl and squirt with water and paint and stir around a lot yeah i think the best thing i've seen is like a bag like this and you put water down paint like a ziploc bag and you shake shake it up that's like a really good idea to me but I just don't ever think about putting like Ziploc bags up here. And, and we haven't painted our wooden balls in forever because I keep buying the ones that are already painted. really cool idea we are all learn something on your show thank you cheryl you're so sweet good tips thanks listen thank everybody that was telling me what to do i wish i could say that that i knew that but i didn't so i love it i love to get these tips that's all i'm saying about the painting on youtube like just go on there and find you some painters I mean, there are people on there that'll teach you how to paint like little whimsical stuff, which is not very detailed, but you know, really cute. Um, you'll learn all kind of stuff. Okay, so let's move these. That was such such a good idea, ladies. And let's put our carrot back over here. All right, now I'm just gonna play. And I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Let me pick out my prettiest ones. I almost wish I had, like my I was brave enough with my saw to cut these in half. Oops, that one feels like it's still a little wet. That one's not though. Keep picking up that same one. It's kind of wet. in the center and maybe one over there. That look, that one looks too close. That look random. Okay. Okay, um. Still toying with. All right. Yeah. 
And I'm thinking, y'all, I've got other sizes, but I think it'll be obvious that this size is smaller. All right. You don't need a lot of glue on these. These things are not heavy. But remember, if you're gonna put it outside, you know, just put just the slightest little dab of E6000 with your hot glue on it. The, the hot glue will make it where you can craft right now, but the E6000 will give it that permanent bond no matter if it gets really hot or really cold. Woo, and I got a spider web coming off of every single one of them because I did that so fast, hold on. There you go. There's a carrot with our polka dots. All right. So we're going to set this one to the side and work on this one. Now I have oops, lots of fabric over here, but I'm thinking I really, hopefully I'll have enough. If I, I may not. Oh, I think I do. Of the polka dot because it's going to be kind of, like I said, these will be the same, but different. All right. So let's uh, make sure I get the same size. Hold on for just a second and let me I want to cut off the little part that's not even. Okay. Now, we want this to be the top and the length is going to be right there. I'm liking it. Cute so far. I hope so. Um, it's hard to tell some projects until you get them all done. But on the top of it, I got some paint over there. On the top of it, we're going to um, put a bow, a green bow. And those, just like the boards, I'm going to make the same. All right, now this, I really like, see how this is frayed? So I'm hoping I can fray this really well. All right, but remember, okay, this is the tip on this, is I'm not gonna cut it as exactly like I want it. I'm gonna cut it wider than I want it because I want to scrunch it together so I can get stuffing in it. So this, that's the part that will be a little hard to remember is cutting it wider than we need it. Whoops, still want it to come to a point, but, and this is what I mean. Okay. Okay, we've cut it. Wider, and I hope I don't have to cut another piece. I think this is gonna be fine. I like the worst scissors out. This is how I cut a straight line on material. I just keep folding it, so when I cut it, <laughs> it'll be straight. Instead of trying to go across it. Okay, see how it's wider than our board? We're gonna scrunch it up. So when we stuff it, it'll come away from the board. If you do it the same width as the board, you're not gonna get that much stuffing in the inside of it. Okay, let me see by some weird chance if I have enough. I kinda wanna double layer this, and because this material is so thin, I feel like you'll see the little, little clumps of um, stuffing through it. So I'm going to um, double it. You don't have to do that, but you know, I don't want to see my stuff in through it. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, I'm weird. Especially if you wanted to use like a, a muslin or something like that. Sometimes that canvas will be a little thin. And this is the part that will, no, it's not gonna let me free it. But we always have our jute to cover up the ugly. I wish we could tear it, but since it's at an angle, it's not gonna tear. A rag, however you, you know, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, I wanna hold these pieces together I don't, want, I don't want to be fighting against two pieces of putting them on here, you know, straight. I'm just going to do a straight line down it and fold it back on itself. You know, right sides against the wrong side, or wrong side against right side. I mean, you could do it the other way like you would a pillow, but we're not going to see that side. It's going to be on the board, so... Looks great, cute so far, so cute. Home economics skills. Yes, I had the best home economics teacher. She taught me how to make an apron. First thing I ever made was an apron and a tie. And I had that apron for a long, long time. Remember I made it golf theme material? I don't forget either. Uh, you taught me that liver was the best thing to eat, put in your body. And my home economics teacher taught me how to make homemade Rice Krispie treats. And I remember when my girls were little, you know, you try to want to be that super mama, and you're like, I'm not going to buy those Rice Krispie treats. I already done. I'm going to make my own. And after you have to make 50 for the classroom, because no little kid just eats one, you're thinking, why didn't I just buy a box? Maybe we can rag it a little bit with our hand. Okay. All right. So, just like our other one, and this one's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to probably put the points down. And then I'll bring this in. You know, do one side. All right, so I know I want it to be here and here. And put, your, put the glue on the material. If you put it on the board, you might not, might not put it in the right place. And yes, you do want to make sure you don't have any open places because remember, we're going to stuff this. And you don't want, like right here, I can see that I, it didn't get a little uh, glue on it because your stuffing will try to come out right there. Yes, you told me home economic, uh, liver was the best thing I could eat. Um, you know how like they go through what, all the vitamins, liver, liver, and sweet potatoes, beef liver, which I'll never eat in my life. As the, ugh. But sweet potatoes, we love here. So we at least eat one thing in this house healthy. We love sweet potatoes here. Okay, now I'm gonna scrunch this up just a little bit because I wanna give myself room. See how it's got a little hump in it? I wanna give myself room to put my stuffing in it because if not, it would just be flat right there. And I may not, see, I, look, I'm gonna have to pull it up. I didn't do it enough. All right, come back up. All right, and I'll get that glue up in just a minute. Let me start at the top. That'll make more sense. And let's see, did I do too much? I really want it to, no, I think we did okay. All right, so it would have been easier to start at the bottom, I think, but I think it's, oh, you know what we can use? Our handy dandy little clamps. Our uh, outcome. A, a line skirt was our first project. A line skirt, hold on, a line skirt. What does that mean? I don't know what a line skirt is. Is that just like maybe a standard straight pencil skirt? Love sweet potatoes and liver and onions. Look, no, I'm not eating any liver. 
I can remember when I was in school and I was probably the only person in America. I loved our lunch food, especially when we got to high school. It, it was so good. Hold on, I had a scraper. There it is. Um, I loved our school food. The vegetables, oh my God. But nothing better than like the cabbage when they had stewed cabbage. I'm like, a, I love vegetables. But every now and then, you know, get up there and you're so hungry at school. Be so hungry going to, going to lunch. And they'd have that liver sitting up there and it would look so good. It would look like, you know, a piece of roast beef just in gravy. It would just look so good with big liver and it would be, ugh, so gross. And for me to say that, how I love food, you know, it must be gross. But I remember in home economics, you you were up at the board, Miss Jan, listing out the things that had the most vitamins in it. Best thing you could put in your body is liver. No, best thing was sweet potatoes. But the next best thing was liver. And I thought, well, at least I like sweet potatoes. I wasn't ever going to eat liver. These little plants worked out good. Perfect for our little project. And they're hot pink, like a finger protector, so we won't lose them. That's going to be very full. Love beef liver. Bless y'all. Y'all got better palettes than me. It has a lining made to the skirt on the inside. Oh, you mean like a slip, kind of? I love beef liver with onions and fried chicken livers. Now, Sheila, you showing your, your South Carolina roots how much you eating um, chicken livers. Rarely cooked because Otis does not like, nah. My daddy, I, I don't see him eating it either. I didn't grow up eating it, so. Okay, so, I mean, and that seems like it could be a lot, but we got our other one fairly, you know, off the uh, thing too. So see how they're going to be the same, but yet going to be different. You know, I'm jumping in head first with this color. Um, you ever had sweet potato crunch? No, Ann. What is uh, calf liver? I don't think I don't like any kind of liver. I think it's the the gaminess, maybe, or the I don't know if it's the texture. I can't remember what it is. When I it was just disgusting. Okay. Now I may need, and I can actually use just a piece of this to help push it down in there. I don't tear anything. Maybe put this in. I like the fact that I um, lined it because I really do think you would have seen this fabric. Um, Through, you would have seen the stuff and through just one layer. But if you have a really good fabric, um, that just, I don't know if this is working, helping me push it in there. Yeah, well, it is. It's just not doing a whole lot. <laughs> I'm pushing on this. I can see my little dots falling off the other piece. It's still not going all the way to the bottom. It's going about right there and stopping. Let's see if my paint stick will grab it better. I know, maybe I can take some of it out. This might be one of those shows. This is what not to do. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got an answer. Just do a little bit at a time. And I want him to hold his shape good. But if we wanted to do him lumpy to show his lateral root scars, <laughs> I think the stuffing would be the thing to do it with. Um, a line is narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. Had pockets on the front with mushroom uh, patches. I remember like yesterday. Yeah, I can remember Miss. Uh, we us making um, a tie, like a men's tie, and an apron. And um, I made mine out of golf material. I was big into playing golf. So I bought golf material. 
And that's what I made my apron out of. And I'm like you. I remember it like it was yesterday. I remember what that classroom looked like. We One side had all the sewing machines. And the other side had all the stoves. Our school has the best, like, equipment out at, out at the school. All right. And, look, we make an even... Use our material to close her up. All right, let's see. We hold it in place. Pinto chicken liver rice biscuit, homemade, now, yum. <clears throat> liver and onions is good. Y'all are just grossing me out. They don't have home economics anymore, do they? Um, I don't know. Miss Jan, do they do have uh, home economics out at uh, Burke County? Y'all, our school has everything. We get a lot of money from the uh, nuclear plant here. So we really have it. They have like a full-fledged, um, they got everything. I mean, they have like a greenhouse that'll make professional people's cry. They have everything. I mean, I can't think of one thing they don't have. Um, if they don't have a home economics, I'd be surprised. But they have their own dedicated rooms and uh, a full shop, like car shop. They get a lot of money from that. I sewed pajamas in home economics. Took four weeks, and after the first wash, they fell apart. Oh, poor Peggy. Uh, not here in Jacksonville. Oh, my gosh. Now, I think they have it all here. But like I said, we're very fortunate because we get a lot of money from that plant. If not for it, we probably wouldn't uh, have anything. I mean, they even have a barn out there where I think they, you know, kids from ag take care of key, uh, My gun is um, just, it's dead, but it had enough on there to probably make that stay for right now. But, okay, so we got one carrot done. Eight, uh, an hour, and we have our two carrots, y'all. Probably can tuck these little ends in the inside. Yeah, our school's just got about, got everything here. We don't in West Virginia, Ohio, hmm, got hankering for homemade <laughs> caramel corn. Oh, that sounds good. You told me the recipe one time, Jen, didn't you one time tell me the recipe for caramel corn when we were talking about food? We all must be hungry. Okay. I like having the little top on it, but I think once I put my ribbon and all that on it, you wouldn't see the top anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to put, it really doesn't look that, I mean, I mean, you probably can put some jute down here. Mine, I don't think looking at it looks too terrible. Um, you know, it's kind of ragged on the end, but I like that because I've done kind of the farmhouse look anyway. But this is that, what we're looking at so far. So they're alike, but yet different. And they're both multi-dimensional. So now, and I got these out, and I wish I'd have grabbed two now because you remember those little carrot lights that I, I was like, I'll put these little, but I only got one. 
But I'll tell you what you could do. These little things right here I learned with the Valentine's when you can put your heat gun on these and they come, they pull right off because they're only put on here with a little bead of glue right on each light. So I actually could take some of them off and put it on another one, but I'm not gonna do that because it's cute and we'll, <laughs> we'll find something else to um, put those on. All right, so the fun, fun part is the bow. Okay, I got this striped out. I can put all my other tools up. It's called something else. Now, I don't remember very easy. Let me see. In our city, they dropped home economics and shop classes because of budget. So sad. I know, listen, if you can't learn, a, you know, what, what is the uh, college rate now? No, it's not very high. So when you drop some kind of skill, which like I said, in Burke County, when I went to school, and I think when even when Buffy went through, they had like a full uh, auto shop. I'm talking about with the latest, every equipment you can have, the horticultural part. Department was a lot. They have everything. They had a, they had, this was something they didn't have when she came through that I did. A huge section on these virtual cars for a car that the driver's ed. I mean, like these $15,000 machines, and they had about five or six of them that they got in and drove like a virtual car to help them. Um, I think it's called consumer science these days. Got to go. Catch you next time. All right. Thank you, Diana, for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Here they call it life skills now. They only have things like that at the trade schools. Oh. Fact, com consumer science? What was wrong with home economics? <laughs> okay. We have this that has like a green stripe in it. We have this. Like I told you, I brought all my greens out. So maybe we can give it like a little, kind of like we're blending on our paints. Uh, I wanted to just grab every color um, that I could think of. I've got a piece of tape on it. Um, plus, this is just my favorite. You know, I had to add that in there. But, you know, it doesn't have to be green. I'm trying to think. Do I want to bring this green in? I'll probably do better with the jute. Polka dots, because we have the polka dots. I think that might have been all the ribbon I grabbed. I always have my jute ropes here. Nope. I had this. That, um, and this is from the Dollar Tree in their, their fall ribbon. It's kind of like a more of that a deeper moss color. So, we're going to make a pretty messy bow. I thought about making, you know, like a bow bow on it, but... I think the messy bows, even though I lo love those better on things, it looks more like um, a carrot's um, plant part. So we're going to definitely make them um, messy bows. Oh, yes. I hear they call it life skills. My family consumer science. They stopped that in 74 at my school. <laughs> All right. So I really kind of want to try to make this at the, two of them at the same time so I'll know I'll get... I'm exactly alike because like I said, I'm going for the same but yet different. So let's see. We want it kind of we want it kind of big. So we're gonna make them kind of big. So you see, um that is probably about um eight. Yeah, a little over ten inches, maybe ten and a half inches. So here is the two for our first bow. And this is going to be one, two for our second. Okay. Let's see. All right. 
think it's gonna take me a second to cut this ribbon, ladies. And then, can y'all believe, only an hour and 15 minutes. And we have made two projects. So they're a little different, but yet the same. And you can use any color. Like I said, do a jute bow right here if you don't want to add this color. Like I'm kind of, me, I know me, I'll start to hate the fact that I, um, <laughs> I didn't do the jute. I'll be scared of this color. But just know that if it really, really bothered me, I could take these green bows off and keep them for something else. And I could do um, two jute bows and then I would be happier. But, you know... And for a penny. <laughs> okay, so here's our two right here. I'm trying to do them in the order that I think that I'll like them in. This is the only one that was uh, a little bit smaller. But it's a real stiff burlap. Um, so it'll especially be good in this messy bow. It'll, it'll really stand out as far as... Uh, and look, we're going to put one together, but we're going to go with it because it'll be, it happens to work out almost in the center. So I don't think you'll see it. Like when they put bows, I mean, they put ribbon together. And I'm not, okay, my children went to an A school. They have all trade schools, heating and air conditioners and law, et cetera. Our Florida lottery pays for, um, Millions to go to the England school. That is awesome. That is super awesome. Um, here they call them vocational courses. Yeah, we call them uh, uh, electives when I was in school. You know, like you could take like two electives a year. I think I only took one elective each year. So when I got to, you, you didn't have like early enrollment like you do now where you could go and take some college courses. So I did. I took all of my classes. The only thing when I was a senior I had to have was in, one English. I had taken everything else um, a little early. <laughs> um, a math in my, uh, when I was like in eighth grade. So I only had to have English. So instead of like taking other courses, I'm like, I'm just gonna take all kind of fun stuff. So I took like, one of my best classes is I took um, drafting with Coach Fails. Like, um, you know, it's kind of like a beginner's course, you know, in like house plans, things like that. Learning how to draw things to scale. Loved that class. But I was late every morning. I think I had him first period. Um, then... Um, See, I've got another this polka dot material. Um, that I took mini construction, like how to build. I built a dog house for my dog when I was in mini construction. God, I, I took all kind of stuff. Tried to take home economics again because I think I took keyboarding because it was full. home economics was full. I took a whole bunch of like fun classes. Cause they were like, don't you want to take like an extra math, like trigonometry would have been like the next one. I was like, no, I'm good math. I loved it, but I wanted to have like a senior year where I took English. And I, that was the best year. Y'all know how terrible I am in English. Um, that I did the best that year. Cause that's the only one I really had to study for. The rest of them were just fun classes. The fun stuff. I'd never let my girls do that, but I did it. I tell them, no, you need to take that class. <laughs> you need to better yourself. All right, let's see. I like the order that we ended up doing this in, except I want to put maybe this, maybe let's say... Here, the darker green, here and here. Okay. So, y'all, this is going to be the prettiest messy bow ever. 
Hey, they called him. Okay, so good night. Bye, Constance. Tell everyone about the doghouse. Yeah, I made the doghouse. Like, everybody was like, I was like the only girl in mini construction. I love building stuff. Working with power tools. I built a doghouse. Um... I got to be like the teacher's assistant because I was like the only girl. Gosh, Miss, what was his name? Miss, his, his classroom was close to home economics. What was his name? Really tall. He he retired maybe probably the year after I left. Um, oh my gosh. Learn how to thread pipes. They got a like a ten thousand dollar pipe thread and thing the year I left and um you learn how to like thread put the oil on it and threaded pipes well, they had all kind of money out there but I, yeah I mean, everybody was like oh my gosh you take mini construction and I was like that was one of my best classes love mini construction All right, let's see. Hey, Kim, I'm sorry. You'll have to work, watch the replay because this is two things, but they're really cute. And I don't know how to go over it real fast, what, how we did it. So just know I'm going to show you in just a minute. It's kind of like the boards we made last night. All right, now this one, I think, because I want it to look like roots, I don't want, I don't think I'm going to dovetail it. I think I'm just want to keep them... Um, I like the polka dots because we use polka dots. So I put the polka dots on the top. And I'm going to kind of scrunch that up a little bit. And these are all wired, so they, they really kind of go where I want them to. I just got to kind of finish playing with them. I think I'm gonna come back up with my bow. And this is where I've got those, I've got these eggs. There they are. That I thought about. It's another color, it's kind of like that moss color. So put a little couple of these. And I got these from Carolina Pottery. They're just like little plastic eggs, but I think they're really styrofoam. They're kind of solid. But I, I'm pretty sure you can get these at any craft store. This just happened to be where I'm, but they're little. Like I thought about putting them on the string, kind of dangling down, or just put them in the center. I think I like them in the center of the bow. I'm looking at that now. But we'll have to give them a second because I'm sure my glue is hot. Ten Husen, yes. No, no. Ten Husen. I don't know. I don't think that was him. I think that was the other man. I don't think I had Mr. Ten Husen. What was his name? Oh, thank you. I haven't done anything with it today, but brush, I actually did brush it. And for me on a Monday, that's good. I heard you knocking on the door. I hit an hour. I told Chris I was gonna do an hour. I did good. I'm almost finished. Need some raffia, yes, I do. I need to break out the raffia. Y'all know I'm scared of raffia. I don't know why I say that all the time. And I like, I like it. It's so cute. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna be like a perfect little. All right, stay glued down. And I'm gonna leave these little strings on them.
All right, now I put a lot on that, so I'm gonna need to give it just a second to harden back up. When I was in school in the 60s, we had a few guys who took home economics and a few girls who took shop. Had driver's ed class also. Need three eggs. All right, let's see. We gotta work in threes. Do you can to show the Cooper? He started the same year I did. Did he? All right. Three eggs instead of two, Kim. Are you showing Cooper too? Okay. Three. So they're not sticking very well. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side so it can harden a little bit. Just let you see a little bit of it right now. Now we gotta do this one next. Let's see. another egg in the middle <laughs> yes three eggs instead of two it should it should most of the time always be an odd number good y'all just know one more than me that's why i say to chris we crafting together because we do craft together <laughs> these are just as much mine as they are yours Oops, hold on. It's starting to come undone. I need a little extra finger in there. Oh, my face is itching. Itching, so I gotta itch it. Uh, yes, three eggs instead of awesome. I can see the bunny going down. Um, tail showing. Huh? Oh no, I don't know what you mean. It got awful quiet without me running my mouth, didn't it? Okay. I like these kind of sticking up in the front. I need some raffi. I do. I'm going to bring some raffi out here tomorrow. We'll make something that has it in it. Because I always think so. Right now, it would be really cute. I don't know why I just always see fall when I see it. I don't know why, because it looks cute on I watch other crafters, and they use it all the time. And it's super, super cute. And why I think I can't use it. Uh, do you want my dress? <laughs> Lots of pretty shades of green. Yeah, I wanted to grab all of them. I mean, they, they're really far. Like these two right here, they're really far away from each other. But you got to think, you know, when you think about shading, you know, like the roots or whatever, they're not all just one, you know, little color green. They probably are, but we're going to go with they're not. Because I think that is the one thing that is all the same as the carrot top really is. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's grab our little three eggs. And y'all, we are done. We did so good. Oops. These two are already together. Maybe that's the trick. I should put them 
onto each other. All right, I'm gonna put them on to each other and then put them on here. Boom, 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 boom. Adds a nice rustic look, yes. Roots or stems with a bunny in the front, head down under the bow. Oh, you mean like his little butt showing at the top? That would be really cute, like right here, like he's digging into the carrot. I need to, now that my gun's hot, fix this top. Ow, ow, finger protectors. Okay. All right, now that these are all hard, maybe I can put them, tie them on there. That way I don't have to worry about how they come and loose. Is that it? And the best little, uh, well, they seem to be a little bit better now. All right, let me. All right, I'm gonna hold this down, y'all. We are done. And what I'm gonna do is put two Jenga blocks on the back of each one of them, kind of for my hook. Because they're so light, I think I can just like set them on like a little command hook or a nail. Um, and I don't have to worry about, because I didn't really want to hang them down and I knew I just wanted the bow at the top. So I didn't want to add any uh, ribbon or jute or anything like that. So we're just gonna kinda, um, I'll show you what I meant with the Jenga blocks. I think I got some down here on the open. No, I don't think I have any open. No, I do have some down here. I just dropped all my little beads. Oh, tell me I got one more out, there you go. All right, and we'll let that, that little bow harden down on there and make sure it's nice and, okay. What I'm gonna do is, let's see if, is I'm gonna put two Jenga blocks on top of each other and that way it'll just, That way I can just set like a little command hook and that it'll just sit on top of it because these are so super light. I don't think it has to have, you know, like a, a, a grip. It just needs to have something to uh, sit on. So I'll just put that up there. All right, y'all, I think they're adorable. I love them. I'm scared of color, but I kind of like these. All right, there's one. And I'll play with my little bow some more because I want it to be, go around as much as it can. More in a circle. There we go. Some of them aren't separating at all unless I make them. There we go. Okay, here's one. Tell me y'all please, y'all love it. Did you do a lot of art projects for your school holidays since you were so tough? I Well, I, had, I did a lot of parties with them just cause I was, you know, parents always had to chaperone and I didn't work. I stayed home with them. 
So I did do a lot, but you know, they don't want to, sometimes at Christmas we do crafts, they just want pizza and to play. Until you know you really don't do that anymore. But I wish, I would look, can you imagine doing this with little kids? I don't think I'd have the patience. Oh my gosh, y'all, I really do like that, even though the colors are kind of bright. So, let's see this one. Separate it out now that it's a little hardened. And there's this other one. I like this one a lot better but I think I just always like cloth. It's really pretty. So, there's our sew together. Here we go. So they're the same, but yeah, so if you flank them on, you know, something on the side, even if you did just a lean-to on the side of your, um, uh, mantelpiece. I think they would be perfect. I love them. I don't know what you call them other than like a sconce light because it they flank, you know, a project. So I'm sure there's probably a better name out there, but you know, I'm not really good at um, the terminology. Thank you, Kim. I hope you go back and see how we did it because remember we used three of these boards, but this is something inside, y'all. Um, you can use, if you have one of these, just trace the other out on cardboard. Because right now, I mean, look at this. It looks like a piece of board, but, you know, after you paint it, it's not going to look like that. This was just cloth that I had. Um, you can use um, uh, felt if you wanted to. You can cut, I mean, you can cut old shirts up. If you ever come across something in, like, Goodwill that you like, um, as far as, uh, you know, a pattern of some sort. You know, get, get a shirt and cut it up. All right, here's going to be our little hanger for this one. But I'm so glad y'all like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be cute on the porch, too. Yes, and all you have to do is seal it. And I think I always forget to tell y'all that. There are sealants that you can buy. But I'll tell you... Um, Mod Podge is a really good sealant. And the good thing about Mod Podge is you actually can get the matte finish. Some, I'll tell you, the Dixie Bell um, sealant, it's, it yellows things. It's not so bad when you have, you know, bright colors like this. But if I have like a white or even this, uh, this plaster, it tends to really yellow it. So I don't like to use that anymore. Um... But, um, so I don't know about the Wise Owl sealant, but, you know, a Maj Podge is a really good sealant. And like I said, you can get the matte finish so you don't spray polyurethane on or something. The next thing you know, something you want really matte finish is shiny. So I would just suggest, you know, seal your thing, especially if you're going to put it outside with, you know, just a matte Maj Podge. And like I said, you always have this laying around. Uh, computer hookup in the kitchen. Have to go see what hubby wants. I carry my phone. <laughs> awesome idea. Thanks. Great. Yes. And when you make them, please make sure you join Sins Crafters. Um, even if you, you don't want to post anything, just to see what everybody else is posting on there. Because y'all really do post the cutest things. Um, and maybe, Darlene, we can find some um, things to do that are organization-based instead of always decorative-based. Because I need that kind of stuff, too. I just don't, I don't ever think about, I just don't ever think about it. All right, I need to quit messing with this. Now. But, like I said, I don't think the top, if I would have done that, you can kind of see it sort out there a little bit. But maybe just don't put as much stuffing in there. And you actually probably could take the top and um, glue it down if you don't want to put the top on it. Because that was kind of just really an afterthought. All right. Well, thank you so much. And um, hold on. I got some Mod Podge matte sealant the other day used on my St. Patrick's Day. And it's a spray. Yes. Anytime you can spray something, it's better. But yeah, make sure you always pick up a matte finish. That way it won't make your distressed farmhouse stuff shiny because then it really isn't farmhouse anymore. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you so much.